Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a full face, this face, using all the makeup that I bought for the past one to, no, two to three weeks. Um, because Sephora had a major 20% off sale for all members and obviously I went crazy. Some of the products that I got weren't just bought by me, they were gifted because today's my birthday. So, um, yeah, my family and friends gifted them to me. And some of the products over here I really dig while the rest were just so if you want to know which products I love and which were like fails then let's keep watching so starting off I take my Smashbox photo finish foundation primer I got the mini size cuz well I wanted to try it out first what in the can you see that is it supposed to be this watery? It does feel good on the face though But it is like so watery, it feels like oil Yep, it's like oil It actually feels like I'm putting baby oil, Johnson's baby oil on my face then I got this um, Beauty Blender set, makeup sponge set from Forever 21 for $8 and let's see if this actually works. Okay, so I'm gonna take this, it smells so good and it's so bloody soft, oh my god. I'm gonna take this lime green one and, oops, <laughs> wrong side, and damp it. And next I'll be taking my Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation in the number Y365 It's not as soft as the Real Techniques one and it's literally absorbing the like all my product Yep, it absorbed like half the product that was on my face Then taking this um NYX Gotcha Covered Total Waterproof Concealer um, I got it in the shade Medium It comes in a small knob like that Quite thick Can you see? The consistency is like Goo Okay, wow, well, this is super thick And it's so sticky. Huh. Not like the usual NYX concealer that I normally use. Boo! <laughs> it is so sticky. Oh my god. <sighs> Though it does give really high coverage, but my brush feels sticky you now. It's not as easy to blend as the other NYX concealer that I have so this is super difficult to blend then taking my ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Bronzer I don't even know what shade this is in it's in the shade Carry On it looks super creamy it is super creamy I'll be contouring my face using this. Let me try and use a brush. Doesn't work using a brush. I mean, I do like the pigment, but I would never apply contour like this. It doesn't even stick on the brush. Goodness gracious. Taking the pointed side. Oh, this doesn't even blend. Okay, well it does. And it's not as sticky as the concealer. This beauty blend is literally rubbing off my foundation. Like, what in the world? 
I'm not gonna use this anymore. I can't. I really, really, really can't. My eyes look so bright. They don't even have a wide range of shades using that NYX concealer, so this was the closest I could get. But it's okay, we'll work with it. Then, taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I've heard so much about this. I love how lightweight this feels, and it makes my face look so matte. Despite all the disgusting, creamy textures I had on my face. I actually really love this. Then I got this e.l.f. under eye high definition setting powder. So cute! Ooh, they have this tiny little brush as well. It's too small to use this brush. So I'll be using this brush instead. The container is too small. I didn't get anything for my brow, so I'll be using my Color Pop, Color Pop Brow Pot thingy and just doing my brows. For now, I really like the foundation. The primer was kind of oily. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't mix it well or something. The concealer was so sticky, it was disgusting. Um, the ColourPop bronzer thingy was just not my type. I don't like cream bronzers. The under eye setting powder wasn't amazing, but it wasn't that bad as well. So I think I will still use it. And the Laura Mercier powder, hands down, best powder ever. Like. Like despite the stickiness of everything on my face, it feels matte, like completely matte right now. The foundation, I don't know, it feels, it's like medium to high coverage, but it feels so light on the skin, so yeah, I love it. And now moving on to eyes, I'll be using my Make Believe in Yourself Tarte Eyeshadow Palette that I'm so happy about. Well, my cousin got this for me for my birthday and just look at the shades. Can you see how pretty they are? All of them are shimmer except one matte and this me this middle one is like a highlighter. And it smells so good. It smells like chocolate but you know those hard chocolates that have... No, those... I don't know what do you call them but those white color chocolates that have a hard shell on the outside. It smells like that. Anyways. I'll be taking my Coastal Scents BR250 brush and using the only matte shade called Myth. I'll be applying it on my crease. It's funny how I can actually smell like my eyes. I don't know if that makes sense. It's a very neutral, nudish color that's good for transition I guess. Then taking the shade Pixie on my Sephora concealer brush in number 46, I'll be applying it on my lid. Do you see how pigmented it is? And they even have like these fall kind of eyeshadows so I'll be applying this shade Wings um, using my finger. Holy I am in love. I didn't even apply like eyeshadow primer. And just look at the pigmentation. Crazy, right? I do want to darken it a bit on the sides. But this palette does not have like a black shade so so i'll be taking my um nyx natural palette and i'll be using the darker shade the brown shade on my masami shuko 210 brush just to bronze it slightly Will 
And for my inner corner, I'll be using my um, W7 Precision Eyeliner Brush and taking this highlighter shade, I'll be applying it on my inner crease. It's not as pigmented as the Becca palette, but I love the color and it's it's still pretty good. Next, moving on to oh yeah, I got this um, Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in the color Glam Rock. It's so beautiful, but I I don't know where do I apply this. Okay, I'm applying it up to the orangish part on my lid. And well, it makes it so glittery, but I don't know if I just messed up my look. It's amazing for all those, um, you know those glam occasions, wedding, Indian weddings especially. This is the perfect thing to make your whole eye pop. Moving on to um, eyeliner, I got this brown Sephora eyeliner in the shade um, Morning Mocha. And this is for the days where I want to have like a soft, natural look. So I'll be using my Sephora brown eyeliner instead of the black one. I love it. Oh my god, it's so pigmented. And for my bottom waterline, I'll be using my um, my MAC liner um, in the shade Brown Border for my lower lash line and to tight line my eyes because I forgot. But this is not a new product. I just didn't get any pencil eyeliner in the shade Brown. So this is all I have. So I got this really really affordable cheek parade by benefit cosmetics it has two hulas hula light and the normal hula hula light is apparently for the fairer toned people um their new blush in california then dandelion and rocketeer right rocketeer as well look and okay so each um bronzer in singapore dollars is about $51 so and these are all uh, normal size actual size so if it's five products it's about $250 and I got it for if I'm not mistaken about 100 for all of this look wow it smells so good and you get a brush as well so I'll be applying um Hula on my cheeks using I don't know, okay fine, I'll use this brush. I'll be applying hula on my cheeks. The bristles are so soft, look. Wow. And they're even shaped in such a way where they give you a precise angle. It's easy to even bronze your nose using this brush. And then using my e.l.f. blush brush, I'll be using the shade California and applying it on my cheeks. So glittery, oh my god. And then back to my Tarte palette, I'll be using the highlighting shade, the middle one. God, every time I open this, it smells so good. And I'll be applying the highlighter on my 137 Petite Fan Brush by Zoeva on the usual points where I highlight my face. Moving on to um, what do you call this mascara? I didn't get anything new. Though, I'm still thinking, do I get the Man Eater Mascara by Tarte? I want to, but I'm not sure, so I'll still think about it. But for now, I'll be using my L'Oreal False Lash Sculpt Mascara. 
I'm not playing one coat because my Ardell Demi Wispies are here. Once I've applied mascara, I'm going to take my ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Drop Top and I'll be applying it on my lips. It literally just broke. Can you see? <sighs> oh well, that says it all. Okay, so this um, I got as a birthday gift from my cousin. It's the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipstick in the shade Girlfriend. I couldn't wait, that's why I have used it before and it's amazing. It's the perfect nude. Literally for any skin color, she's way better than me and it looks so good on her. I'm slightly more tan than her and it still looks so good on me. It's like, I think the perfect nude for any skin color. And as you show, it smells like vanilla cupcakes. So if you like them, you're gonna love this. And it, the pigmentation is insane. It's amazing. This is new, but it's not a first impression. My favorite shade from all of the Huda Beauty lipsticks I own is Girlfriend. Next, um, I have I fake lashes left, falsies, but I'll be applying them off camera. So this time I'll be using my Ardell Demi Wispies in black. And um, yeah, can you see how beautiful these lashes are? Like wow, my favorite lashes by far. Once I'm happy with my face, I'll be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and spritzing this all over my face like <laughs> it smells like the grocery store <laughs> but um it's the first time i've bought this but it's not the first time i've used it so i've used my cousin's one before and my makeup lasted for about 15 hours until the time i took it off If you enjoyed this first impressions on full face makeup haul video, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Bye!